that means that it will rotate about the center of the object and we do that here so the parameters are just the output it's going to hook up it you know it's going to fill the world matrix variable member variable and it's going to rotate it by our angle so it's going to rotate say this was one degree it's going to rotate I'm going to create a world matrix that will rotate our shape by one degree corresponding to the y axis and then all I'm going to do is tell our graphics card about our world matrix by calling set transform on the graphics card g3ds transform state world now g3d transform state world now because it's the world matrix pass it the address of the world matrix that we just calculated here with this function d3dx matrix rotation y and then obviously return to handle to results so we want to return s ok and that is what we're going to do for the update it's quite simple it's only four lines okay now I'm sure I'll breathe a sign of relief because I've just looked and we don't change anything in the render method that stays the same as it always was, was. but what you should appreciate is that because we've told the graphics card about these matrices and we've, gone, we've told it how to get from space to space it's going to render our triangle differently each frame depending on the matrices and because the world matrix is updated every frame because we will call this every frame it's going to look different every frame essentially it's going to rotate by a different angle every frame and if you think about cartoons and you know uh, they use frames like 25 frames per second or something like that uh, with gradual changes in it, each frame this represents the gradual change in each frame we're just incrementing the angle each frame calling a new world matrix passing it to the graphics card and the graphics card will transform all of our vertices from modeling space to world space according to that rotation just close it like that and that's everything for this file